Welcome back to another episode of The Curtis Zone. I know, I know, I know, I know. I promised you guys that I'd give you guys an episode live from Real Regency when we go see Blue Beetle. But I couldn't get permission this week, so we're going to do it next week. Okay? Promise her to get permission then. Today is another episode on the Power Rangers. The last time we did an important moments episode on the Power Rangers, we did it on the Saban era of Power Rangers. This time we're doing it on the Disney era of Power Rangers. Yes. Disney once owned the Power Rangers. Disney sold the rights to Power Rangers so they could buy Lucasfilms and, and that was the beginning of them buying 20th Century Fox. Apparently they didn't think that Power Rangers was a sound investment for some reason, I don't know. But it is looking like they're gonna, repos they're gonna repossess Power Rangers again due to the fact that it's making more of a profit these days. So let's get into an important moments episode on Power Rangers. The, the Disney era. Like what I do with the Saban era of this pow of this episode, I'm going to give you one or two important moments from every season. And also like I did with the Saban era, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go from from RPM to Ninja Storm. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Ninja Storm. It's Ninja Storm. It's, it's, it's Ninja Storm. Sit back, relax, enjoy, and remember to hit the like and subscribe button. But before we get into today's episode, let's get into some news, shall we? The first bit of news from the world of Mortal Kombat, they have, they are almost completed on filming and they will release a teaser trailer of, or an in development trailer, this coming, before, by the end of December. Now, by the end of this coming December, I'm sorry, by the end of this coming December. It is looking like they're going to be having Johnny Cage, all the, the original cast are going to be including Johnny Cage, Baraka, Jade, Katana, the whole nine yards, all right? And it is looking like Johnny Cage is going to have a major role to play in this upcoming Mortal Kombat 2. So let's be on the lookout for that, shall we? Now I hope that everybody has seen the trailer for Cosmic Fury, the new season of Power Rangers, which includes David Yost. Yes, David Yost has joined the cast of Power Rangers Cosmic Fury and he will be returning as Billy, like Tommy did when he returned as, as Tommy in Dino Thunder. Looks like David Yost will be returning at in Cosmic Fury. It's looking like it's going to be a whole lot of fun, guys. The final piece of news from the world of DC, it is looking like Henry Cavill will be returning to the DC Universe either as Superman or as a cameo. Nothing is set in stone of what's going on right now, but it's looking like he will be doing a dramatic return. Whether or not his contract has been renewed as Superman has not been reported yet. So, be on the lookout, guys. And now, let's get into today's episode, and remember, hit the like and subscribe button from every, for more content from the Curtis Zone, for more of me, my smiling face, and of course, more of my bouncing packs. Now, remember, like with the, with the Saban era version of this episode, I'm going backwards, from RPM to Ninja Storm. So, just bear with me, okay? The first important moment from RPM is when we learn more about Dr. K's past, including her time with Alphabet Soup, which is a private think tank, which was which lied to her about her condition about not being able to go outside, and used her intellect in order to create more powerful weapons. However, Dr. K used her mind to create the Vengex virus, but when she couldn't stop it, Vengex spread through all throughout the world and infected everything, which led her to form the RPM team. Another important moment from Power Rangers RPM is when we find out that Tanaya Seven, who is one of the enemies of the RPM team, happens to be the long lost sister of the black RPM Ranger. They were both kidnapped and experimented on by Vengex and turned into living weapons for him. However, the black Ranger broke free of his programming and started traveling around the world, whereas Tanaya became Tanaya Seven the ultimate Vengex attack bot. I recommend watching the RPM team. An important moment from Jungle Fury is when we meet the Spirit Rangers, who are basically rangers of the three masters in which the Jungle Fury team trained with, the elephant, the shark, and the bat. The Spirit Rangers were creation of Dai Shi and the the Phantom Beasts, who use their rings and power to activate 
the Spirit Rangers through the essence of the Masters. It was an amazing saga to watch the Spirit Rangers go up against the Power Rangers and then eventually become their allies. I recommend it. It's pretty cool to see. In Power Rangers Operation Overdrive, the only important moment that you need to know is the when we find out that Mac, the Red Ranger, is actually an android who is built by Andrew Hartford, the team's mentor, in order to become the perfect child. However, when Mac finds out about this, he is not exactly happy. But it's a very important episode because it also leads us to, to be first introduced to the Red Ranger's Battleizer, otherwise known as the Red Sentinel Ranger. Pretty fun stuff. An important moment for Mystic Forces when we find out that Korag the Night Wolf is actually Lian Bo, the mo most loyal and most powerful of all the Mystics. Lian Bo was dragging the Master and his Dark Forces down into the Underworld when the Master got to him and used the last of his magic to turn Lian Bo, the, the Fire Warrior, into Korag, his most loyal soldier. It was a fun and in impressive and amazing thing to see in Power Rangers history, ladies and gentlemen. Watch it. One important moment from SPD is when we find out about Miralok and how he killed the blue SPD Ranger's father in a raid that, that he started himself. So the blue SPD Ranger confronts Commander Kruger and, and learns the entire story about what happened between Miralok and his father. And this leads to a confrontation between the Blue Ranger and Miralok, which ultimately leads to Miralok's destruction. Another important moment from the SPD series is when we learn about the relationship between Emperor Grum and Commander Doggy Kruger. You see, the thing is that Emperor Grum took his wife and destroyed the entire empire that he came from which is where the creation of Space Patrol Delta came from. This is after Commander Kruger sliced off one of Grum's horns. To learn more about it, watch my history of the SPD. The only important moment from Dino Thunder, which may be the only important moment in all of Power Ranger history, is the return of Tommy to the Power Ranger powers. You see, the late Jason David Frank had retired from Power Rangers and became a paleontologist. But after being captured by Mezagog, he bonds with the Black Dino Gym and dons the power of the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. This is important because we find out that Tommy cannot hide from the power of the Power Rangers. The power is always there and it'll always protect you no matter what. The final series we're going to talk about is Ninja Storm, and the important moment from Ninja Storm is when we find out that Kia, who happens to be the Sensei's brother, is also Lothor, which makes Lothor the uncle of the Green Samurai Ranger, Cam. Now this leads to a very weird confrontation between Cam and Lothor, which leads to Lothor stealing the Samurai Amulet and using it to open the Abyss of Evil which is me skipping stuff from here and there. However, Lothor was still the most evil in all of Power Ranger history, and we thank him nonetheless for being part of Power Ranger history. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of The Curtis Zone. I, of course, your humble and handsome host, Dylan J. Curtis. Thank you on behalf of all of us who are here at The Curtis Zone. And remember, hit the like and subscribe button. Now, if I forgot to mention anything, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you just want to voice your opinion by giving me a request for a history of episode, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you, okay? And we want to thank today's sponsors, as always, Coastal Waste and Recycling, because your garbage powers someone's world. Now, everybody, I love you all so much. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'll get back to you. Just please. Be here, be, be back here on the Curtis Sun.